Hello everyone, welcome back to Spanish Salad. I'm Sal and today we're going to do Memory Match by Color by Uma. So what's interesting about this game is, first of all, it is one or two people. But secondly, if you come into the programming screen and scroll down here, scroll down here, you'll see there's six different colors. And these six different colors are randomized. So every time you play, you can get red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or indigo. And there's different shades that you have to work with. So how many is this? Five different shades. Five different shades to work with. And then you have, how many is this? 20 cards. So two, there's four of each. So, oh, I, how did I? Oh, I'm playing, I accidentally selected the wrong one. Whatever, we'll do, can we do this? We'll just do pretend two player. Okay, that was easy. That's a pretty light one. So we have light and dark. And now it's player two turn, player two's turn. So we have light, dark, light. That's not a good way of doing it. Oh, that's like black. So light, dark, light, dark. I think that's this one. Yes. So we have two dark colors. Is that this one? Not quite. We have a lot of dark happening right now. What about this one? Is that is that this one? No, that one's like a brownish. So far, player one is winning. Player one is me. Starring me. We did get that one. Is that close to what this was? I already forgot what this color was. Nope, that's way too light. Way too light. Let's see what's in the next row. Is that what we wanted? I have a terrible memory. We finally got on the board as player two. Was that this one? I remember this one being dark. Yes, we got it. Down here. I don't think, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. We're tied. We're tied with ourselves. Oh, that's an orangey orange. I think this matches with this. Yeah, so we have a brownish there. Oh, I think we want... Is it left or right? I can't remember. I got it! Yay! I think I can finish this out now. Yes! Player one wins! That's me. Or not. Wait, I didn't think that was brown. Well, that now now it's a tie. So I guess you'll get to see what ends up if it's a draw. It's always a draw! And finished. Beep! <laughs> tie! <laughs> Okay, but if you were gonna play a single player, you'd press the A button. I don't know how L and R got pressed and how I ended up in two player, but anyway. In one player, it just shows you your mistakes on the right. So right there, I made a mistake and see it's randomized. So now we already have red. I actually didn't show that I made a mistake, what? When does it show when you make a mistake? The counter on the right, I don't know exactly what the details of the whole mistake system are, but. It's there somewhere. It doesn't keep track of how many you get rid of correctly because, I mean, it technically does because that's what you're doing, but. Hey, my memory might have improved. And now that I said that, I am gonna mess up. Yep, so that's a mistake, meaning we could have gotten it with one we already had unturned, maybe? What? I don't know, I don't read Japanese. I don't know why I did that. That, I already knew that was wrong. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you've played this game, if you got to play with somebody else, what you thought of it, and if you'd recommend it. In the meantime, stay awesome, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!